computer. Okay. All right. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the Coffee with Coaches podcast. Today, I have with me John, John Francis, otherwise known as Johnny Franchise. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny helps. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I have here with me today, John Francis, also known as Johnny Franchise. Johnny is helps franchise executives and franchise owners reduce risks and improve results by providing level-headed expertise. He has over 30 years of real-world, first-hand experience in franchise businesses. Having been a franchiser, franchisee, and supplier with multiple brands, Johnny, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Michael. Glad to be here. Appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Let's dive right in. Question number one, why did you become a coach? I became a coach because I love helping other people with their work. I don't want to do the work for them or with them. I want to help them do it for themselves. Love it. That's a great answer. What are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? Well, I, I think my, my niche is franchising and uh, really working with franchisors and franchisees. Uh, I don't think there are too many people who do coaching one-on-one -on -one the way that I do it. There are people who do groups. There are people who do roundtables. I don't really do either of those. I, I prefer to work one-on-one -on -one individually, personally with my clients. Wonderful. Johnny Franchise, it's right there in the name, huh? That's it. How do you find your clients? Well, honestly, they find me. I, I guess it's word of mouth and I've been at it long enough. I've got a long history and reputation in this franchising industry. People know me as a problem solver. People know me as an approachable guy. I guess I do a little bit of work on speaking, speaking to groups, conferences. I've got a pretty good social media presence and put some put out a lot of good content on my blog and things of that nature. So usually clients are finding me, which is great. That's awesome. Question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? The biggest challenge that I face really is getting clients to open up to me sooner. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the challenge is they generally get there, but it takes a little while. They really have to know and trust me and know that I'm not going to attack them or make them feel stupid for whatever they might share. Mm -hmm. So I, I found a way, I guess, generally just my nature is pretty straightforward. So I find if I just tell them that like early mm -hmm. in the relationship to say, you know, it's better for me when when you can really be honest and just totally open with me and share everything that's going through your head, whether you think it's relevant or not, or whether you think it's smart or not. And so I've, I've learned how to just kind of diffuse the situation by bringing it up early and talking about it directly, because the sooner they get more open and more complete with what they're sharing with me, the better I can do my work to really help them. Love it. Question number five, if you had a do-over in your coaching business, what would it be? Well, I would probably charge more, honestly. <laughs> I, I think a lot of times I give away a lot of great advice for probably too long. Mm -hmm. And then when I do start charging folks, at least in the early years, I, I was, you know, like I think a lot of people just reluctant or hesitant to really charge too much, thinking, why would anyone pay for this? And now I don't suffer from that anymore. Uh, I've got uh, more confidence, I guess, and a better track record. And, you know, I really don't, I don't worry about it anymore. If they'll pay what it's worth or what I'm asking, it's reasonable. If, if they're not interested or not willing, then it's not a match and I, I move on. That's a good one. So our bonus question here, what is one book that you would recommend all of your clients to read? Oh boy, that's a really good one. I, I'm a big fan of Jim Collins. Sure. And he did Good to Great, but great I think his better, his better book is Great by Great on Purpose. Great by Choice, I think, is the title. Yeah, Great by Choice, right, yep. which is really talking about, you know, you know, good is the enemy of great sometimes. Mm -hmm. Good enough is, is sometimes that, but if you really want to be great, you really take some, some extra efforts. So I'm a big fan of Jim Collins. I think anything by him is a pretty good resource. That's great, Rick and Johnny. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> you want to edit that out? You got a uh, capability. Yeah, right? let's edit that out. Yep. That's so, Billy, if you're Billy, when you're listening to this, please edit that out, and I'll I'll start over right here. All right, Johnny. Thank you uh, so much for joining us on another episode of Coffee with Coaches podcast. Where can people connect with you online? 
Thank you, Michael. I'm glad to be part of this. My handle is Johnny Franchise. So my website is johnnyfranchise.com. I'm on all the socials and pretty easy to find. If you if you Google franchise expert, I think I come up as the first the first result. That's kind of where I live. Awesome. Great SEO. Great. Thank you, Johnny, again. And thank you everyone for tuning in. And we will see you again next time. Cheers. Thank you.